同志们，再次欢迎来到 NCPA 小黑盒子剧场，请尊重我们的演职人员跟各位来宾，请各位关闭手机和其他电子产品，摄影和录像是禁止的，请不用担心，本场演出会有专业人员来记录。最后，请大家放轻松，享受我们的演出吧，谢谢各位的到来。
how to feel about the test.
Okay, well, glad you're okay. Sure, thanks. Hey, did you remember when we were learning about evolution? Nope. <laughs> okay, well, I, I hope everything works out for you. Welcome to this episode of The Average Update. We're coming to you live with a special mid rank edition of Class Rank Update. I'm Nate Siu. And I am Kelly Stewart. It's Friday, October 15th. Midterms are over and it's time to see how the cards or ranks fell. As of right now, 72% of midterms have been scored and recorded in the rest in the rankings on Monday Sunday. And if you're one of those lucky ones who has Mr. Miller for 8th and this, this semester, it's been reported that he won't be back from his father's funeral until at least next Tuesday, meaning you have a few extra days until those essays boom or bust your rank. So take the weekend and celebrate. One last reminder before updated rankings go live. Above the average reserved spot and discounted rates for test prep courses and personal tutors will be expired at midnight tonight. Opening up any remaining spots for all below the average students still trying. And now, the moment you've been waiting for. Let's see those leaderboards. No surprise to anyone as Sydney Summers posted on that number one spot for the 43rd week in a row. That's over an entire school year, folks. Did anyone really expect me to turn to slow her down? If seven AP classes and a class at the university wasn't going to top her junior year, She'll have a choice of any university she wants come spring. Bad news for brother Ryan, however, as he fell from the 8th to the 11th spot. Other big shake-ups in the top 20. How often do we see a student go from at risk into the top 10 in just a matter of months? Can you guess which senior has been making all the right moves? Coming up, we we'll sit down and talk to her, as well as to now below the average students she pushed down on her rise to the top. An average shakeup for midterms. Three seniors have risen above the average so far. Congratulations. Before we move on to our juniors, let's take a moment to acknowledge our recently fallen seniors. Uh, hey. Are you okay? What? Are you okay? No, I just... I just would have been fine if all of my score had gone in on Monday, you know, like... I would have been fine just going home and not thinking about my rank for like a day. I'm sure you get it. What's your rank? Well, well, we took this midterm in my science class last year and... I thought the grades are not going to go in until next week. Oh, we planned this big weekend vacation because, well, for my mom. Anyways, the teacher somehow got the grades in on Friday and uh, it dropped me a lot. My dad was livid and I pretty much ruined the weekend for everyone. That sucks. Your mom wasn't upset? She was, she was fine. But you know how it is. My dad was really stressed back then, so everything was a bigger deal. I mean, it's just ranks, after all. Right? You know my dad Used to tell me What life was like before rank redemption Well, of course, there were ranks back then, just not like this School was fun yeah, right. And there were dances. Could you imagine a world where I could talk to a cute girl? And ranks never came up once. Um, uh, what? Wild, I know. Don't think so much, it's not a big deal. Hey. Sometimes life sucks, and it's really I do. But still, that voice in your brain keeps saying, push through the pain. You have no right to complain, because the lower ranks has it worse. Yeah, how else am I supposed to get through it? Don't think so much. Relax, it's just a number, none of it matters. Of course it matters. Look around. It's all that matters. 
it's not even the real average. No one calculates anything, just draw a line, and you're either above it or... You're below it. I know. Is it true that if I fall below the average, it's like impossible to get back above it? It's pretty hard, but not impossible. Take the heat, gain some attention, go compete in rank redemption. Duke it out and claim your spot at the bottom of the top. Then get your ass in extra classes so your GPA won't drop. Cause if it does, kiss your life goodbye. Your future dreams are now to try. Oh, because you couldn't try hard enough. Oh my god! Oh my god! Whoa, whoa, whoa. hey, hey, hey. Don't think so much, your mind will cave in It's all a rush, you don't know where to begin Don't let that feeling inside Become a river so wide that you get trapped on one side You have to build a boat to get across What are you even talking about? Don't think so much meets Roman Colosseum. I am hyped. Below the average students who achieve a top score can bump out and at risk above the average students and take their spot. For more information, please pick up an application from Mr. Norton at the college or career center. As all of us have a great weekend. Oh, and don't forget to study! <laughs> Whoa, 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 leave him alone! Uh -huh. 
trash. What? I think John was just a little lost. John just didn't realize now everyone deserves a jacket. Right, Ryan? Ryan? Uh, you shouldn't be here. <laughs> Try to be more careful, man. Yeah, thanks, Lily. Friends. Look, Lily. Don't feel bad for them. Don't try to save them. Just let them be what they are. Average. The world needs some people. At the end of the day, Lily, for us to be above the average, we need below the average people in this world. John, his sister, their friends, they're the reason you'll be able to wear that. So don't try too hard to save them. Lily, I'm fine. That just so looked like nothing. What happened? Where are you going? I don't know. I'll talk to you later. Lex! Can we talk about what I said earlier? As in what just happened? What do you mean what just happened? I didn't say anything. I know. No. I mean, at the end of lunch, we were running to classes and I said... Yes, friend, I know. <laughs> I was there. It's just I, I, I shouldn't have... It's okay. I understand it. You didn't mean it. It's fine. No, 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 no. It's not that I didn't mean it. It's that I didn't not mean it. Does that make sense? <laughs> You're unbelievable. I can't talk about this right now. I have to go find Lily. What did I say? <laughs> Look, I don't really know what your deal is. Deal? I don't have a deal. I'm sorry for what Sydney said back there. I mean, she's number one, right? Like the best of the above the average. I don't think everyone above the average acts like that. Oh yeah? I cannot wait to meet them. My sister isn't like that. Well, her boyfriend, on the other hand. Ryan, I'm sorry. You don't have to be sorry. It's not your boyfriend. <laughs> I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> Oh? <laughs> yeah. Lily, there you are. I'm just <laughs> Are you okay? I'm fine. I know you're upset about today's friend with them. I said I'm fine. Hey. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Sorry about earlier. Yeah. Cool boyfriend. He's just. I mean, at least he has a smart, cool person's jacket. John, I'm sorry again. I'll see you soon? Yeah, soon. What was that? What? What, Pam? What was that? Nothing. I was apologizing. Where's Ryan? He went home. Why? I just... I don't understand how you can be with him when, when they're... When we're, I just don't understand. Sydney. Ryan isn't like Sydney. But that's not what it seemed like. Look, Lily, you are too young. You wouldn't understand, but... Does he know? It doesn't matter. As long as I'm focusing. And you're making sure that it will all work out. Does he know that... You heard what Sydney said back there. People like them. They need people like us. Does he know that we... Sydney said they need people who are below the average. That's not us. It could be. I could be. Look, Lily. You are going to compete in the rank convention. You can keep your spot and make them proud. And then next semester, all of this will go away and all of this will be better. Okay? So let's go. But what if I don't want to compete? That's a stupid thing to say, you have to. But everyone will be watching, can it just not? And hope that no one score. We've worked so hard to live in such a chance, Lily. We live in a different world, we have to work hard. It's never going to come easy to us, so stay focused. You are going to compete, and I don't want to have this competition anymore. Aren't you lying to Ryan, though? Lily. Do me a favor. Be quiet and try not to ruin anything. 
Could you please just keep it down? Please? That was really sad. I kind of feel bad for him. He thinks he's happy. Excuse me, Francis. Do you think you'll help? Do you have time to help me today? No, uh, maybe. Just for a sec. Just that. Um, my dad thought we were be done by now, but since we don't really start yet, so. You wanna I... stay above the average? You're lucky we're even making time for your peers. Why do you think we're here helping you? Because we pity you? Yeah. Absolutely. Or because your parents pay us lots of money? 100%. Or because deep down we want you to be incredibly successful and happy in life? Definitely That's not. So, I will be with you in a minute. We're all on the clock here, people. We are working as hard as we can. Uh, what have you been doing? Helping Maya over here? Let's see. Don't talk to me in public. Oh, she's going to try to compete in rank redemption. Poor thing is actually optimistic about it. I heard that Lily is going to compete next week as well. You know Lily? Alexis's sister? And Alexis? Your brother's girlfriend? Your brother, right? I know who my brother is. I know who Lily is. Thank you. Alexis seems to look pretty hard. That's good for Ryan. She's fine. But they seem good together. I mean, I don't want to hang out with her or anything. I think he's an idiot for distracting himself. But as far as the girlfriend goes, she's fine. Why was Lily with Jordan's brother? We all make choices. There's a reason she's at risk. Um, have you guys actually seen Jordan? She, I mean, we... I, think oh. I saw her on the first day of school. I haven't seen her in forever. I didn't even know Jordan had a brother. What happened with you two? I, uh, we don't really remember. Yeah, wasn't that like years ago? Um, it's fine. It's nothing. I don't want to talk about it. Like, was you really upset? I heard you guys got in an actual fight. Yeah, I, I said I don't want to talk about it. I should have said more. That back there? That wasn't who I am. You know that. I'm better than that. Or that's exactly who you are. And we shouldn't be doing this. You make, you make my heart stop. What are you doing? Too late, I'm already love drunk. Man, please stop, you are staring. I know I've only got myself to blame for the state I'm in. So you go spinning all around me. And so I thank God you found me. You know 
These expectations weighed us down We're so controlling I'm really confused, is this some kind of apology? Because it's not really working for It's me. time to raise the white flag Ryan, can we please have this competition? <laughs> I never tried to look back Like they do! I can! I can be the person you want me to be! Just tell me who I need to be! Don't look back, take a step into me Don't you laugh, you know what you'll do to me It's not like anything I've ever dared to try before Just let go yeah, and me. never try to look back. No. My heart has a home in you. When I lose my directions, you pull me through. I'm letting go of the void I know. So take a shot in the dark. About me. It's not about you. It's just the way it is. Okay, fine. Maybe it is. Maybe I can change who I am. But then I met you. You make me better. You make me want to be better. So maybe I can change who I am. I'm letting go of the boy I've known. So take a shot in the dark and know that my heart has a home in you. Just give me a chance and we'll see. Okay, we'll see. Why'd 
you throw it all away, throw, throw it all away, throw, throw it all away. I ran into Sydney today. Sydney Summers. I bet that was fun. Well, she asked about you, like, where you were and stuff. What'd you tell her? Nothing. Well, it wasn't much of a conversation, really. Do you think people can care about school and still be good people? What? I mean, do you think it's possible for people to compete? I don't know, care about other things too. No! I mean, we were above the average. How do you think that it's we are- It's different. You know it's different. No one above the average. Do you remember last year? Do you remember last year at all? Did you care about real things? Did I? No, none of them have any idea. And why are you even talking about this? It's just, rank redemption is next week. I, I was just I thinking- I thought you didn't care about your rank anymore. Never mind. Never mind about what? No one. No what? No, nothing. Nothing. I, I mean nothing. Who is it? It's <laughs> nothing. <coughs> Her name is Lily. <laughs> Lily is above the average? Is she one of Sydney's friends? So what? Just an afternoon hanging out with Sydney and her squad? No, no, no. no. It, it, it isn't like that. I mean... It's, we, we're just, just, just you and Sydney talking about how hard it is to stay at the top. No, 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 no. no. Sydney wasn't there. No, what, 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 she was. But, but she No, Lily isn't like that. They're all like that, idiot. Cindy, Lily, all of them. No, Lily is smart. I mean, it's just not... Mom will be so disappointed.
We are freshmen, and this is your first rank credential competition. Or just happen to be paying attention. Here's a quick reveal. Anyone who sits below the average is eligible to compete in an academic competition for spots above the average. It's a battle royale of internet. Kelly, how many spots are up to grab this semester? The bottom 10% of each grade above the average are at risk of losing their spots. If you're one of those underwhelming at-risk scholars, get ready. You don't have to compete, but you probably should. Every at-risk student is given the vote for they chose not to compete. Or compete, get a top score, and keep your spot. Hey now, hey now, this is what dreams are made of, people. Let's see today's little words. Hey, I was wondering if I would ever see you again. Yeah. Yeah. Just study? Yeah. Alone? <laughs> I guess so. I'm at risk after all. Oh. Oh dang, should I even be talking to you? Shut up! So, you're gonna compete? I have to. Why? You wouldn't understand. Okay. Are you going to ask me more? Well, if you want to tell me more, you would. Oh, hi, Lily. We heard you were at risk this semester. We are so sorry. Uh, I'm fine. Thank you, though. I'm sure you'll be safely above the average again in no time. Thanks. OMG, John Carter. The committee has been trying to get you to compete in rank redemption since last spring. That's so exciting! Are you going to compete on Friday? Uh, no. I'm, I'm, I'm here for more You support. totally should. It's going to be so fun. The theme for this... The theme for this semester's rank redemption is Etu Ranke. Togas! It's going to be lit. You just hands, answer a few questions and pay the deposit. Questions? Deposit? Question one, what is the most embarrassing part of being below the average? What kind of questions are these? Question two, who in your life finds you to be the biggest disappointment? Can he list more than one person? OMG, Cindy Summer's here in the squad. Right now, this is, this is just so cool. <coughs> Cindy, I just wanted to let you know that we've had a great turnout for rank redemption. How fun. Hey, Lily, have you registered yet? And what about your little friend? Lily, you don't need rank redemption to prove anything to anyone. Let's go. Don't need rank redemption? What were you planning on doing after high school? Finger painting? I was just thinking... It's kind of sad thinking of Lily too much all alone. A lucky average no one to talk to. And you will be on the other side of the campus. Being average. Aren't you tired of being average, John? John, you don't have to. Don't be a loser. You're not a nobody. You know you want to compete. Be who you're meant to be. If you want to keep your rank, you have to fire point blank. So show up. It's time to grow up. You want to know my winning strategy. I keep my eye on the
times life sucks, it's really high feel. Yeah, I deserve that. But still that voice in your brain keeps saying, push through the pain, you have no right to complain, because you know that John has it worse. Okay, okay, I get it. I'm, I'm sorry, I shouldn't have snapped at you. It's fine. It's not fine. You didn't deserve that. Did, did you know last fall I was ranked 13th? What? That's amazing. What happened? Well, my mom got really sick. And pretty early on, we knew that it wasn't going to end well. But she and my dad just wanted us to focus on school and stuff, and that's what we did. We didn't make it to the hospital much, and then she had to see this specialist in Maryland. And we stayed home because of midterms. And then she. I'm so sorry. It's fine. It's just hard to focus on ranks when she's not. Doesn't really feel worth it. As if when, when she's. Well, up until last year, Jordan and Cindy were best friends. What? Yeah, they were one and two for a long time. But Cindy must have known. Jordan doesn't really share much. She probably just stopped trying and doesn't share anything to anyone. I don't know what to say. It's okay. You don't need to say anything. Have you ever been to the Pomloch estate? No. Well, it, it sounds nice though. It's not. Oh. Well, what, what does it look like? Home Lodge Estate. Home is where you park it. A trailer park? My mom prefers mobile home community, but yeah. Oh. It's just Alexis, my mom, and me, so we make it work. I don't understand. Why, why are you telling me this? I don't know. I've, I've never told anyone before. Do you know how many kids from the Pomlach estate had graduated above the average? No. It's not, it's not many. People just... They don't know how hard it is. How much harder it is. How much random than people think it is. I mean, yeah, it's hard work, but there are tons of us working just as hard as everyone from your neighborhood. They will never get a chance because you just won't. So I get it, it's not important to you or Jordan anymore. And I don't blame you for that, but for me, relax. It just feels like if we don't work hard, then we'll always be stuck. So Ryan doesn't know, I take it. Do you think he will care? He seemed to really like likes, but he um, Ah, oh, Sydney though. That would be awful. I don't think they can even imagine how poor we are. Like, Lex and I used to joke about people like Ryan and Sydney had so much money they could even buy their way above the average. Well, thanks for talking with me. Of course. But thank you for telling me about your mom. See you tomorrow. Big Frank Redemption. Maybe you get to wear a cool jacket again. Yeah, maybe. But either way, I get to talk to the cute girl. Bye, John. <laughs> Surprise!
right day or as I call it my day This should be fun for us but probably not for you Hey Colleen, not seniors you losers could be winners Hope you'll study a lot cause the competition is hot Look at us sweaty in the sand I've got to cry I'm holding hands Today we'll see who is a winner and who is not Today is really the day really about separating the winners from the losers. <laughs> Not winners. That's right, Ryan. And we already saw that firsthand from the last question. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for us to get to know our competitors a little bit. Our first ranked redeemer is Maya. Give Aaron a wave, Maya. Maya is 16 years old, and this is her first rank redemption as an average student. After her parents got divorced last year, Maya had to split time between both houses. Driving back and forth and the stress of it all is definitely one of the reasons she's earned a place on the stage with us today. Maya hopes to keep herself above the average and eventually win back the love and admiration she lost the, her, the day her father moved out. Let's give it up for Maya! Competitors, this is your five minute warning. You have five minutes left. And now my brother Ryan will introduce you to our next competitor, Lily. Uh, Go ahead, Ryan. We apologize for the interruption. We're coming to you with special breaking news. I'm Nate Hughes. And I'm Kelly Stewart. It's Friday, October 22nd. We are being told that school officials have received an announcement that someone has been paying illegally for great boost. What? what? The official statement from school administration reads, School officials were recently made aware of potential attempts to undermine the integrity of our class ranking system. Upon further investigation, we found these rumors credible. Until further notice, the class ranking system will be suspended. suspended? <laughs> While we conduct a thorough and extensive investigation into the depths of this academic corruption. At this point in time, we are unable to confidently verify any individual student's rank. We hope to have this issue resolved as soon as possible. You heard them, folks. As of now, this rank redemption is over. Without class rankings, all premiums and benefits for above the average students will be temporarily suspended. Suspended? The average updates will continue reporting on all things class rank, bringing you news when we have it. At this point in time, please return to your fourth period classes. I don't see why this is such a big deal. I mean, they will figure out who did this, and everything will go back to normal like it was. Yeah. Come on, Seth, don't be like this. You're going to be back on the top in no time. It's going to be okay. No, Ryan, it's not going to be okay. None of this is going to be okay. What the hell, what the hell, what the hell is going on here? What the hell, what the hell, what the hell is going on here? I work hard, I work so damn hard, but what's it for? When it all falls apart, somebody stole this from us. What are you talking about? If you give me number one, eliminate. I don't know how to talk about how 
the only thing I'm worth anything is currently missing. But you guys are figuring it out. Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. If all our wrecks in a way, how can we be sure that someone to blame? There's no way to be searched as free. Thank you. 
，请各位关闭手机和其他电子产品，摄影和录像是禁止的，请不用担心，本场演出会有专业人员来记录。最后，请大家放轻松，享受我们的演出吧。谢谢各位的到来。
you think you get to take my place Just cause your number is erased I won't allow you to debate Yeah, they're great. Lots of 
ready for right now too. I'm sure y'all are gonna have it together.
eagle keeps on growing. Just look at you, you're glowing. But oh, come on, if you're gonna get ahead, just gotta follow where you're at. Work the system while the system's really working you. But hey, rich kids like you. What? Never had to pay their dues. Who needs to read textbooks? But you got daddy's checkbook. Someone always please. You don't know me. You don't know anything about me. Just because I'm above the average, I know everything about you. I used to be you. You're all the same. Look, if you did this just to prove a point or something, please don't do it. If someone did this to prove a point, you clearly haven't gotten it. Please, call me back for coming up. I'm a rank I have.
Everybody's angry, everybody's screaming. They want someone to blame, but what's the real reason? I try to heed your advice, just keep my eye on the price. I take a breath, you'll be fine. Do what it takes to survive. This is a dream, it's not as bad as it seems Still what I don't understand is how this got so out of hand So someone's cheating, someone's always cheating Always lying, always fighting, always crying Make it go After all, I'll follow where I was planned. I've been told that once I get older, I'll be fine. I'll see it was all in my head. It's not all in my head. It's not all in my head. Of hearing this, when everyone's telling me who I supposed to be. Just breathe, you'll be fine. This time, there's nobody helping. Just breathe, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. My life is falling forward, spinning back and back and forth, the roller coaster upside down like this, over and over again. when we were little and when the above the average career fair came to our school 
And we had an assembly where they talk about all the cool jobs you could get if you finish above the average. I remember that. We were like nine or something. And I went up to them afterwards and I said, I want to be a chef when I grow up. And they say, no you don't. That's a below the average job. You're going to end up above the average. And you, was, you wouldn't stop crying and mom had to come pick you up. And we got into the car and she laughed and told me to stop crying. She said being a chef wasn't a real job and I was too smart for that. She said, you're going to keep working hard and you'll get to be a doctor one day. And I said, what about Ryan? Don't worry about Ryan. Ryan's going to be fine do whatever and ever he decides to do. People will always be like, everyone li likes Ryan and Ryan has so many friends. And I would just sit at the window and do my homework, watching him play outside with all of the friends. Wishing that just for one day, I could be the one. And then we got a high school and we got our first ring. I didn't get to be a doctor one day. I had to be a doctor one day because I was the smart one. Because when I came home crying because Chris Baffer told me that I wasn't pretty, that said we all have different strengths. Your appearance has nothing to do with your rank. And that was that. And you, you kept charming everyone, getting girlfriends, having fun, all while keeping your group ring. And I kept studying, wishing that just for one day, I could be the fun one. How do I know I'm not the fun one? Did I ever get a chance to be that person? Or have I just been called for the smart one for so long, that's all I thought I was? How do we know the difference between what people want for us and who we actually are? When I found out, I should have told you. It's just that I spent my entire life wishing I wasn't a smart one. Wishing I had your charm or your humor. Wishing mom and dad would let me be the one who I wanted to be. And when I found out, I just didn't want to take that away from you. I didn't want to be the reason you felt like you weren't enough. But if I'm not above the average, what then do then I... Then you're not. We're going to figure it out. There's still a lot of school year left. Or maybe you can be a chef? Who said you weren't funny one? So... What should I tell Alexis? The truth. <laughs> so, all of this because of you? I guess so. What happened, Liv? I thought you were doing okay. Why did you... It's just... I was just scared, and I thought if I could have more time, I'd be more prepared, or it would be less scary. I didn't mean someone would actually... I didn't mean to get her in trouble. I'm sorry. I didn't realize you were so overwhelmed. I mean, everyone is stressed, but I thought you were getting through it. It's just, you had Ryan, and I don't want to keep disappointing you. You haven't disappointed me. Why would you think that?
what is going to happen to Lily? I don't know. Probably nothing. Just right after all. They're not all the same, you know. People above the average. Lily and Alexis, they are not like Cindy and Ryan. They work hard because if they don't, then they'll be stuck. This is not it is how, how it's supposed to be a world without ranks. They just don't know what to think of themselves without number. When ranks come back, will it be different? Will any of this matter? Fall behind, I'll admit I don't know anything that hasn't already been said. I guess it's still unclear despite all the proof that I've seen. So I face my fear and admit I don't know what I need. It's time to come up for end. Waves keep crashing down without a care. They push me down, they spit you out. We've come around and still have doubt, but treading water hasn't got us anywhere. It's time to come up for it. Left it. 
You wouldn't understand. Try me. My entire life has been, a, has been about trying to fit in. Hoping no one notices I walk home from school. But where I walk home to? Hoping no one notices I wear the same shoes every day. Hoping if I just work hard, I'll be good enough. Good enough for what? For getting out of this place. For going to college. For you. For me? Of course you're good enough for me. Why do you think otherwise? So much of my life has been about money. And everything comes with not having enough of it. When I was with you, you just saw me, for me, without any of this other stuff. This doesn't change any of that. Maybe. Been better. Everything is like back there. Without our parents and not knowing. Is that true? Yeah. You really have no idea? Not really. That sucks. Yeah, it does. Ryan, I just don't. Wait! Before you say anything, I just want you to know. I don't care if this is where you live. I still see you for you. This amazing girl who worked as hard as where you are now? Number 12? Are you kidding me? And if you ever needed any help paying test fees or anything, I'm here to help. I know you do. That's why we can't do this. What? My heart had a home in you. I lost my direction. You pulled me through. And I'm letting go of the boy I know. I took a shot in the dark and so goodbye right Come on, Dave, you'll all be back on stage competing. You know you were looking forward to 
capture this chance and get a temporary spot above the average. The opportunity has come, please take it and get started. There she is, the girl who brought down the system. <laughs> yep, that's what I'm going for, anarchy. But we know that. I still can't believe you said all that. It's just kind of happened. You know, for a second there, it seems like you're trying to protect me. Uh, I just don't want people to think that you disbelieve me too. Oh, I appreciated it. So, what happened? It's just, everything's moving so fast, and I thought, if I could have more time, I'll keep my spot, or not think about my rank for like a day. Wouldn't that be nice? It doesn't matter. Anyways, did you hear? Ranks are back on Monday, and I'll have rank credential again on Friday. Wow. So, what does that mean? For for this. What? This. Like... <laughs> you and me? What do you mean? Like, if ranks are back on Monday and you're right back into rank redemption, what, what does that mean for this? What exactly is this? Well... A below the average boy talking to an above the average girl and hoping that she'll continue to talk to him until Monday. What? What? What, what, what do you think it is? Uh... I... don't think we were... Yeah, that. Yeah, uh... Come on, we, we need to get started studying and you have to rank redemption, right? Me? You, maybe me. It, will it take me to be above the average to walk you home every week? Come on, let's go. It's infuriating. You think you know your friends, but then you reach a sorry sense. I guess you never can tell. And the world keeps spinning around. Spending every minute with my mom was all that mattered. 
I fell to 15, and then 32. Below the average, not long after. Where were you then? All you saw was the red arrow next to my name. But knowing you have really changed anything? I, I was... I was... Running the same grades. They don't stop for anyone. It's the most important thing in the world to you. For me, none of it really matters anymore. That's not fair. It's not fair. You shouldn't have to choose between your ring and your own. I shouldn't have had to choose. I should have